This is Tampa, Florida, a sprawling metropolis overlooking the Gulf of Mexico, perhaps best known as being the Cigar City, the lightning capital of the U.S., and the birthplace of the Cuban sandwich. Tampa's no stranger to parties and festivals, but today we're in the Bay Area for a traveling party, the Red Bull Fluke Tag. It's a fierce competition that pits teams of the incredibly brave and the incredibly stupid against one another, and an aviation-based battle of wits that sees teams design and build their own homegrown flying machines and run them off a 90-foot pier, 30 feet above water. In the end, though, there can only be one team to achieve Fluke Tag glory and win the coveted prize, flying lessons. Okay, so I'm about to fly this giant flying Cuban sandwich into the bay. It is Red Bull Fluke Tag from Tampa Bay. My name is Guad Venegas. I'm just a regular guy who likes to travel and have a good time. But when I travel, I like to hang out with a couple million of my closest friends, eat their food, drink their drink, and party like a native. I'm on a mission to see the world one festival at a time and experience firsthand what people are like when they drop their guard and start to party. This is World Party. Today, I'm gonna be eating the best Cuban sandwich. Later, I'll be smoking some of the finest hand-rolled cigars. I'll also be taking hang gliding lessons. And finally, I'm gonna be flying a giant Cuban sandwich into the waters of Tampa Bay. It's Lutac, baby! The first Red Bull Fluke Tag was held in Vienna, Austria in 1991. It was such a success that it has been held every year since and in 35 cities around the world. The competition is held two or three times a year in North America. Anyone is eligible to compete provided that they follow a few rules. The rules of Fluke Tag. Rule number one. The maximum wingspan of each flying machine is 30 feet. Rule number two. The weight of each flying machine must not exceed 450 pounds, including the weight of the pilot. Rule number three. No motors or stored energy of any kind may be used. You can only run and push your flying machine down the ramp. Teams are judged in three separate categories, distance, creativity, and showmanship. To enter, teams must apply with the drawing of their flying machine, and should they be accepted, will launch their machine off a 30-foot platform over water. We wanted a flying machine to be relevant to local culture as well as suitable for flight. So we drafted up a flying Cuban sandwich. The sandwich will consist of two inflatable rafts that will serve as the bread, shape foam will make up the ingredients, and we top the whole thing off with a hang glider type contraption that should fly us to victory. That's the theory at least. We also need to come up with a skit that will tie into our motif. So we're going retro and styling out our skit to mimic the old fashioned drive animations. But instead of hot dogs and popcorn, we're serving up Cuban sandwiches. Namely, Swiss cheese, a pickle, salami, and mustard. Collectively, they are known as the ingredients and will help push me to a fluke tag victory. Now, in order to get in the right mindset, let's seek some inspiration at the best Cuban sandwich joint in town and learn more about this beautiful sandwich. The Columbia opened its doors in 1905 and has become one of Florida's most honored and beloved Spanish food restaurants. They also maintain the Ebor tradition of making a great Cuban sandwich. To get an insight and a perspective on the Cuban sandwich, take a look at this educational film. The Cuban sandwich and you. Traditional ingredients in a Cuban sandwich are mustard, mayonnaise, ham, pork, Genoa salami, Swiss cheese, and pickles. The key is to stack the Genoa salami on top when the sandwich goes into the press so the fat will melt and drizzle over the other ingredients giving it that classic Tampa flavor. Mmm. Traditional presentation dictates that the sandwich be cut at angle and then served. 
Originally known as Sandwich Mixto, the Cuban sandwich was invented by the Tabaqueros, the tobacco workers, in Tampa sometime around 1900. So what does the meal consist of exactly? This is Armando. He's going to be serving me some of the Colombia's finest Cuban sandwiches. Spanish bean soup. Spanish bean soup. Spanish bean soup. Or garbanzo bean soup. Or garbanzo bean soup. Okay, so it's a classic soup and sandwich lunch combo. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. The Genoa salami gives the whole sandwich a really nice flavor, not overly salty, just really flavorful. This is just coffee, this is an all meat sandwich. It's really good. Now, this is a really nice place, so I'm thinking their meat is really good, which makes this really good, but if all places had meat like this, make any sandwich taste good. Um, it's definitely the kind of sandwich I would order because I like to meat, eat meat. I'm a meat eater. Another great touch is that there's no lettuce or tomato. This is served traditionally. By being pressed, it gives the bread a nice crunch to contrast the melted cheese and softer meats. It really is a perfect sandwich. All right, now that we've got the Cuban sandwich part of this down, it's time to learn how to fly. Since the actual flying apparatus of our craft is modeled after a hang glider, it'll come in handy to get some hang gliding experience. Lucky for us, one of the world's best hang gliding schools is only an hour east of Tampa in Davenport, Florida. Welcome to Wallaby Ranch, the first aero tow hang gliding park in the world just outside Orlando. Okay, so we're at Wallaby Ranch. I got my helmet cam attached to my knuckles. Actually, I think it'd be better so you can give you guys a better view of what it's gonna look like up there. The hang gliders are right behind me. We're next in line. So I was a little nervous when I got here. I'm not that nervous anymore. It turns out we don't really jump off a cliff because we're in Florida. So apparently what happens is they tow us up with an ultralight plane and then once we're about 2,000 feet in the air, the ultralight plane detaches and we're off on our own. Should be nice, short and sweet. And here we go. It's me and Malcolm. That's my teacher. He's going to teach me everything I need to know about hang gliding. I have a camera on my wrist. I have the one that's attached to the hang glider and then the one on the ground. Going up isn't that bad. You go really slow. It's pretty smooth. And I got to say, I didn't expect it to be like that. At this point, we're still getting towed by a plane. You can see the rope that they're using to tow us up to 2,000 feet. That will detach, and that's the scary part. And it doesn't look as bad there, but it feels like a roller coaster. And we're now loose. Uh, he starts teaching me how to turn to the left, how to turn to the right, how to move your body forward. If you want to go one way, move your body back. Kind of changes the speed. The landing part is too difficult for me to do, so I was just holding on and I let Malcolm do the job. As you can see, we're only a couple inches off the ground when we land. It was nice, what can I say? It was a lot more smooth than what I thought it'd be. Uh, we got to turn it to the right and to the left. I don't know, was, I'm surprised at how nice it is. He did the whole thing, he did great. Very relaxing. He to be scary like everybody else, and he wasn't. Yeah. He just found it to be serene. I think he's kind of thoroughly mellowed out. Oh, what can I say? I would recommend it to my grandma. When we come back, it is time to get set up and ready for fluke tag. World Party will be back in a few minutes. Friends, why not take this opportunity to visit the concession stand and try one of our world-famous Cuban sandwiches. And now, on with the show.
So far, I've immersed myself in the Cuban heritage of Tampa and taken my first flight in the hang glider. Now I need to check up on my flying machine and get it over to the hangar. The crew's been hard at work assembling the flying machine. It features two inflatable rafts for the bread. They've been hollowed out in the bottom for me to bail out should I need to. Foam and fabric make up the ingredients. PVC, fiberglass and a little aluminum make up the frame which is held together by an epoxy and has been injected with an expanding foam to give it support. Now we just need to put this whole thing together, tape up some loose ends and get ready to fly. Okay, so it's just about five o'clock and we've almost finished putting the plane together. Uh, I can definitely feel the Florida humidity now. It's, you know, sweat all over the place. I mean, you break a sweat just by lifting a screw here. We somehow lost the bolt, which we will manage to find tomorrow. So we have a screwdriver doing the job for now, as you can see up there. Uh, but it's looking like a hang glider. We, we still need half the sandwich on top. They're uh, telling me that I will for sure fly 30 feet because 30 feet is how high we'll be above the water, so we'll for sure get 30 feet, if not forward, down, right? <laughs> uh, so we have a meeting at five o'clock with all the other teams. We can actually see all the other planes from here, or flying machines, and you know, we're, we look like we're pretty decent. Anyways, it's gonna be a lot of fun, so uh, pretty excited about this. All right, so we just finalized our inspection. Uh, the judges came and apparently this wasn't safe enough at first, so we had to put foam all over the wood. We've got foam everywhere, so if I hit this, I guess it won't hurt as much, I don't know. Uh, the judge is a little worried because uh, I'm gonna be down inside of this thing, so it'll be a little hard to get out. I'll show you how I'm gonna be riding this once uh, we get going. So the plan is for me to stand back here Hold on to this, you know, and as if it was a hang glider, try to steer it somewhat within like the two seconds that I'll get. I gotta tell you, I'm a little nervous because the judge, when she looked at this, being a judge for like a lot of these things, she's like, no, this is going down, honey. I'm just telling you, be careful. Know how you're gonna jump out because it's going down. But, uh, you know, we're trying to keep the spirits up. We'll see how long I decide to ride it once we go off the platform. So now that we're all ready to go, it'll give me some time to go check in on the competition. All right, so we are with team number one, Tampa Bay Baywatch. That's right. Uh, the, oh, I, I missed oh, man over here. How do you guys get to be number one? I mean, you just signed up first. You know, so. we're, we're kind of media whores, so we thought, I think, let's promote ourselves and see what happens on the paper. Hometown here. favorites, so, man. Hometown favorites, Tampa Bay. So, so what do you guys got going on? You have a little Show boat? Off. Well, this is our inspiration right here. here. He's a good man. He's a good man. That's Hoff Power. His birthday was uh, Thursday. His birthday was Thursday. This is this this uh, wig's gonna make an appearance on one of our members during our dance. Okay. Our boat. I'm gonna be in and take it down all the way into the water, which is gonna pull this glider with full force and speed and beauty off the end of the ramp. Now let me ask you something. How far do you think it'll be until you bail out? I'm not gonna bail. I'm riding it all the way down, man. You're, you're riding the it down. to the end. You know, if I go out, and I, it, it, I go out full time. I'm That's trying to decide I'm whether I'm, I'm, glory. I'm going down, I'm taking I, it down. I'm still deciding whether I'm going to ride mine to the, the end. Worst thing you're going to bleed, you might break something, but your adrenaline's going to be pumping, and the hospital's right there. So don't worry about it. Life flight is a short flight from right there, no problem. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no skateboarding in downtown, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on! Get that guy over here! Get that guy over here! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Flying pigs? <laughs> orange, orange, come on. What do you guys got going on? You have a ramp and a skateboard, or why don't we, we talk about? Uh, we're fueled 100% by donuts. Okay. Um, and coffee. And coffee. We eat the donuts, drink the coffee, and then the obnoxious gas that comes out fuels our flight into the air. For real, real talk. Eric how do you, how do you all know each other? Like, how did the team form? Uh, team the form area. at the skate park in Tampa, where we all work. Okay, so that's where this is yes, the yes, skate yes. park team. Skate, team skate park in Tampa. All right, so who's who's the guy flying on the skateboard again? He's not here right uh, now. Cops don't skate, buddy. What's he gonna bust out when he goes off the ramp? What's he gonna throw down? Well, since he's an angel, I think he's gonna be busting out a Christ there. <laughs> okay, I'm not a skater, so I, I 
I'm not familiar with what that would look like. Uh, so I, pass I was like, I get a ticket for that. Ah, no. Yeah, so these guys are actually going around and giving tickets to people. Most, what does that say? Lack of skateboarding, skateboarding knowledge citation. I'm sorry. You gotta do your research. You gotta do your interview, research. Definitely. What can I say? My bad. So everything thus far is going fine. That is until I hearken upon what's this? Another Cuban sandwich? Apparently, the local free alternative newspaper has entered a sandwich into the competition. And what's this? A lettuce and tomato in a Cuban sandwich? Really? Like the cops said, journalist, do your research. How oh, oh, good is this gonna fly, by the way? She's gonna fly. She's the pilot. Are you the pilot? I'm the you have pilot. the cape? Wait, is everyone jumping in the water? Yes. Who's not jumping in the water? I haven't decided. More than likely not. I kind of don't want to go in the water because it's kind of gross. It's not that bad. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Have you looked at it? No, I don't want to look at it until I have to jump into it. So I'm sure it's pretty gross. But it's, I'm the pilot. That's right. I, what can I, I mean, yeah. We might have a so, bad hair. Two dreams, keep hoping. <laughs> so seriously, how long are you going to stay on this thing before you jump off? As long as possible. What's as long as possible? Like, like one millisecond? <laughs> That's the kind of commitment this sandwich has. So as the first team Tampa Bay Watch is called out to the flight deck, it is time for me to get back to my Cuban sandwich. And when we come back, it's time for fluke tag. All right, so with the first craft being called out to the flight deck, it is time for fluke tag. All right, so uh, I've got my vegetables and my meat ready. I'm kind of nervous now. Uh, I guess we're ready to go. Basically, it's a line. All the teams go in a line. We're number 19, so as they move forward, launch off the platform, then we got to move forward until it's our turn. These guys are going to push me off, so we're good to go. It's fluke tag. Let's hear it, Tampa, our first craft at Red Bull Blue Talk. Team Tampa Bay Watch! There's only two people we care about beating tonight. It's uh, the other Cuban sandwich and the... All right, you guys messed up the wrong sandwich today. for the other Cuban sandwich, bunch of posers. A real Cuban sandwich speaks Spanish. Valieron madre porque no hablan español. I got a question for you too. I, let's hear it. Uh, how far is it from here to Cuba? It is really, really far, but I bet you could do it if you swam. That's how far we're going. They're going all the way, no problem.
inside the water. Uh, you know, the whole thing started over here. It took a long time to finally get up on the launch pad. We're all nervous. Uh, there were some problems on the runway when we pushed. So by the time I actually went off, it wasn't as fast as I wish it would have been. We got maybe like 10 feet ahead of the water. So it was a soft landing. It's not even that bad. I mean, it's like jumping into a pool, big deal. And one of the best things, of course, is no one got hurt. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but it was definitely exciting. It was, it was great. Uh, too bad we couldn't win it. But at the end of the day, awards were given out, and the People's Choice Award went to the Derby Darlings with more than twice as many text votes as anyone else. Third place went to the little engine that could, the firefighters from the Panhandle of Florida. Second place went to Air Gilligan. And the winners of the day was the team that led us off, Team Tampa Baywatch with an amazing flight of 109 feet. Congratulations guys and congratulations to all the winners today. Unfortunately, we didn't win anything, but hey, at least we beat the other Cuban sandwich. And with that, our time in Tampa has come to an end. It was a great time in a great location. If you ever get the opportunity to come check one out, do yourself a favor and do so. And that's it from this world party. We'll see you next time.